Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Gamma glutamyl transferase GGT in the serum is frequently elevated in patients with NAFLD, and it has been reported to be associated with increased mortality 34, 35. However, the diagnosis of NAFLD cannot be made using only GGT. Take our lead. An elevated ALP with a low or normal GGT means the increased ALP is more likely due to bone disease. An elevated GGT level suggests that a condition or disease is damaging the liver but does not indicate specifically the cause of the damage. In general, the higher the level, the greater the damage to the liver. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. In adults, GGT levels in the range of 0 to 30 IUL are normal. Anything above 30 IUL could be a sign that your liver isn't working the way it should. Several types of liver disease can cause a rise in GGT, including viral hepatitis. Obstructive liver disease, like bile duct blockage or damage. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Elevated levels may be due to liver diseases, such as hepatitis or cirrhosis, but they may also be due to other conditions, such as congestive heart failure, diabetes, or pancreatitis. They may also be caused by alcohol abuse or use of drugs that are toxic to the liver. Take our lead. You can lose weight. If you're overweight or obese, reduce the number of calories you eat each day and increase your physical activity in order to lose weight. Choose a healthy diet. Exercise and be more active. Control your diabetes. Lower your cholesterol. Protect your liver. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. In many cases, it's possible to reverse fatty liver through lifestyle changes. These changes may help prevent liver damage and scarring. The condition can cause inflammation, damage to your liver, and potentially irreversible scarring if it's not treated. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.